So Pain Money Wubby opened another alpha. He actually opened two of them. And one of them had a island as a rare and a living land. So that was not a really good starter deck. The other one was just straight up fake from Italy. And he felt so confident in um, the person knowing that he actually named the person. Um, and obviously that will have a lot of repercussions in the vintage. So I don't know the name. But in the vintage community, you have to understand it's a very small community. And with most of the packs and starter decks being owned by very few people. So if you own an alpha starter deck worth for $120,000, you probably own a bunch of them. Maybe even like uh, one of those bundles things where there's like 12 of them or 9 of them. Uh, I don't own any vintage that valuable, right? I just own a bunch of homelands. But luckily for me, homelands, I mean, who the hell is going to fake homelands, right? <laughs> there's nothing of value in it. Maybe Dingaroo, but that's about it. Um, this is a disaster for the vintage community. Every time pay money well, because they're under the the premise that these things will never, ever be open. People will buy them, put them in a safe for investment, and no one will ever know it's a scam, right? Like people are not expecting that the buyer is just going to open it on live stream to hundreds of thousands of people, um, but that's what Pay Money Wubby is doing, and he's exposing the vintage community as absolutely fraudulent. Uh, this isn't the first time he's opened, and this probably won't be the last time he's opened a what is clearly a relatively well done i mean you can't really tell from the outside he had his experts at ancestral mtg take a look at it they were the ones who sourced it obviously they're not going to give him something that they know is wrong but they gave him a money back guarantee a contract he had a contract in place and he mentions he actually says very clearly and i think this is something that you guys should understand that he is in a very different situation than me or you if me or you buy a fake pack, we're screwed. We don't have, we're not influencer. We don't have a contract in place, right? Um, let me replay something from, from his video and uh, take this audio clip out because I think this is important to realize this. Influencer, you might open this with your little camera phone. I'd be okay if the second one is fake. Uh, I will say, I've said this once, I'll say this again. If anyone were to buy this and open it, well, I'm happy it was me. Because if you unlucky piece of shit were to have bought this at auction, you would be out the money if you didn't properly film this or have a contract with the auction house. Like, you'd be fucked. You would buy this. And then you, you're probably not an influencer. You might open this with your little camera phone or whatever, right? Maybe some friends come over, whatever it is. Maybe you put it in your safe for 20 years. When you open it, you're fucked. Yeah, he's absolutely right. So vintage magic for the majority of people is not like sealed boxes it's not a good idea guys and it doesn't have to be this it could be urza saga i've seen fake urza saga before it can be um i mean most recent sets i don't think it's really worth the effort um but maybe some modern horizons or something like maybe a specialty set back in the day like vip masters vip or something like that there is a lot of incentive to fake this and then you see this guy this Italian guy, he's got like 80 of these starter. I mean, you got to like think about how many fake ones had for $120,000. And the fact that legitimately no one will open this stuff for 30, 35 years. There's like one dude on YouTube who will open it. Everyone else is going to keep it sealed to sell down the line. And how do you, how do you rewind that? Like, so it's, it's kind of curious, right? So let's say like I buy from you, you buy from me, and you sell to Alpha Investment. He and he sells it to Pay Money Wubby. It's fake. Alpha Investment traces it to you, then traces it to me, then I trace it to someone else. Like these people are gone to the wind, my guys. Like you know, this is good luck getting your money back. And as these become more and more investable, um, people are going to open it. They're, they're, literally everything he's opened, he's opened multiple fake packs right now. In fact, let me our uh, fake starters. Let me see his uh, YouTube. Um, fake, finally, pulled Power 9, $42,000 beta. So he's opened beta and alpha. He's opened um, Urza Saga. It, it's kind of interesting to really see um, him go out. Uh, oh, his Japanese haul. He was picking a lot of Mox Diamonds. But yeah, he once you open it, uh, Kingdoms, Portal Free Kingdoms, that probably will be... 
uh, faked, right? Uh, revised might be faked. Uh, scam, yeah. So scammed for fourteen thousand dollars, unlimited starter. So he's been scammed before various times. Actually, we covered in his channel. And the more he opens, and the more it becomes clear to me, no one actually knows, because it's literally a plastic wrap. On a, uh, it's not great technology. There's no security tape, no t anti tamper tape. And even if there was, you could. I mean, you look at Logan Paul's case, it's a $3.1 million object. That thing is expensive as hell, guys. Like you would think, and then they went to BBCE. BBCE did who knows what and said it was real. They were so confident it was real, they sat there with Logan Paul being made fun of and exposed to millions that that video has millions of views and they were willing to do that because they thought it was real and the saddest part is for the most people even for logan paul there's no refunds bbbce logan paul let me see i lost thirty five hundred dollars on fake pokemon cards uh bbce no longer authenticating oh there's uh mealy pop there's our good friend mealy pop um that's crazy, right? Like, they were so, so certain. Oh, and they had G.I. Joe packs, by the way. They were so so positive, right? BBCE, that they actually flew out to Chicago to hang out with Logan Paul. <laughs> and, and Logan Paul would have kept that case sealed if it was not for one YouTuber at the time, a very small, small YouTuber, called Rattle Pokemon, and the whole co community, the Millie Pops, the Jacobs, the Shine, like, the whole community turned on him because it doesn't help that the community, it doesn't help when such a expensive item can be faked. Um, that, to me, is really just kind of the loss of confidence, right? People, you, you, you get it wrapped, and the company that wrapped it is there, and it was fake. You know, so then what's the point of having this person wrap it? Why pay so much money? And the video has 7.7 .7 million views. Now, Pay Money Wubby's video doesn't have that many views, but he actually calls out the people by name who scammed them. And luckily, like Pay Money Wubby said, there's a contract that he's a big influence. Like, if I were to buy this and I were to open it, I would be screwed, right? I would be screwed. Maybe Alpha Investment could get away with it, even though he doesn't film anything live. So I think he would be screwed too. I don't know how... The, the way that Pay Money Wubby is doing this, which is on live stream, is a whole hell lot better than, like, you know, videotaping because then you can say, oh, it was, like, switched out or something like that or edited out. He's doing it live. So only in this format can you determine that, yes, in fact, this is fake. There's no doubt in anyone's mind that this is a fake Alpha starter deck and that's uh quite unfortunate uh, it truly is and I, I i i hate to say this i love vintage magic openings but holy shit there's a lot of fake i think um there's only going to be more as he opens more